hello everyone welcome to all about analytics in this video i will explain you about a categorical variable encoding using one hot encoder right using pandas and scikit libraries okay so first of all i would like to uh, tell you that why we encode categorical variables we encode categorical variables because uh, our machine learning algorithm only understands numerical uh, numerical numbers right it does not understand like for example if as you can see here and there is a sex column in which there are two strings female and male so it does not understand that uh, it does not understand whether what is uh, what is it because it is in it is in string format right our machine learning algorithm only in this understands numeric format so in categorical variable and uh, variable encoding what we do is we encode these variables right for example that here sex column is there right in this column male and female are two subclasses are present present right so what we will do is when we will create a new column two new columns one is for female and one is for male right so now in that in which rows where male is present we will write one and where male is not present we will write zero so one is for hot zero is for cold right so let's begin this uh, I'm performing all this so that you can easily understand. Okay, for doing uh, for encoding the variables, you need pandas and scikit, right? So first, I'm telling you this technique with pandas. Then I will tell you with uh, one hot encoder of scikit learn library, right? And one more thing, you can only perform categorical variable encoding when your data is nominal. Nominal means when your data is having sub sub class sub classes present inside it for example here you can see smoker the column has two sub classes no and yes right same for example here as you can see day sunday monday tuesday and there are seven sub classes present in day right as you can see here time and time dinner breakfast and lunch three sub classes are present right so in this is this kind of data is called nominal data okay so let's start it so for converting this First of all, you have to import pandas. Okay. Then what you have to do is mm, read the data set. I have chosen the tips data set here from here, GitHub. Right. I have directly imported it from GitHub. This is the data set. First five rows of the data set, right? Okay. So let's continue. So I'm encoding this data set. So for encoding the data set, uh, what function we will use pandas? Uh, pd dot get underscore dummies function we will create the dummies right so see pd dot get underscore dummies now we will provide the link of data data this is our data right because this data only uh, because this data set is, to, is stored in this variable data right now i'm creating a new data data underscore tips As you can see here, our old data has been encoded. Okay, I have told you that it will create uh, different subclasses, right? As you can see here, sex in sex column, we have two subclasses, right? Female and male. Here you can see female and male. And now, in those rows where female is present, we have one, and where female is not present, we have zero. So as you can see here, here male is not present in the first uh, first row so here, so here it is zero here male is present so one 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 so in this way we can uh, we encode our variables so we are encoding our columns suppose and uh, we are encoding our columns uh, in binary format also you can say this right so here as you can see that the days are having seven or somewhere around yes seven columns or whatever it is saturday sunday and thursday friday right and here smoker column is having two subclasses inside them no and yes right so this and through this in this way you can uh, you can encode your categorical variables okay now i'm telling you the second way through this technique using scikit one hot encoder so for using scikit one hot encoder you have to import from 
sklearn dot preprocessing module's name is sklearn dot preprocessing and dot preprocessing input one hot encoder always remember o is in capital h is in capital e is in capital and hot encoder okay now let's execute this compiler is taking much time okay it has been executed so let's call the one hot encoder one hot encoder right you encoded it right inside this we have to pass some functions sorry not functions these are you can say keywords or whatever so these are the parameters which we can pass to pass in this function so i am using this sparse equal to false by default sparse if we encode any kind of variable so it will numpy float 64 right but if i mm, for if i give uh, this uh, argument as false right here is sparse equal to uh, if i do this false so i will get a two dimensional numpy array so i want it so it will be easy to convert into a data frame so that's why i'm doing this right and now what i have to provide is the data source so i'm using this data Right. In this way, you can encode your variable. Not I will not provide the data here. I'm just copying this into a variable. So one encode, right? This is the variable name. Now one underscore encode dot fit underscore transform. which data data right now I also have to tell which columns uh, I wanted to uh, encode right so for doing that data dot keys function it will give me the columns names right so these are the columns which I which I want, right? Six smoker day, six smoker day time. Four columns are six smoker day time. These are the column I want. Right? These columns I wanted to encode. Now when we will execute this command give me a minute I will let me save this into a variable so this is encoded array we will get the output in numpy array right so this is encoded array so let's execute this when encoded is not defined One underscore encode. 
ओके स्पेलिंग मिस्टेक हुआ है राइट सो इट हैज बीन एग्जीक्यूटेड एज यू कैन सी एंड इफ यू सी द आउटपुट हेयर राइट सो लेट मी शो यू द आउटपुट फर्स्ट सो हेयर आउटपुट विल बी इन टू डायमेंशनल एरे सो हेयर एज यू कैन सी द आउटपुट इज इन टू डायमेंशनल एरे फॉर्मेट राइट सो नाउ व्हाट आई हैव टू डू दिस आई हैव टू कन्वर्ट दिस टू डायमेंशनल एरे इनटू अ डेटा फ्रेम सो लेट्स डू दिस सो शूटिंग दिस व्हाट यू नीड दिस पीडी डॉट डेटा फ्रेम फंक्शन now provide the data source so our data source is this array right now columns columns Although you need just let me filter out the columns also. So which columns we want? These columns, right? Dot data underscore dates. So I'm copying the column names from here. Wait a minute. Dot tips. Dot keys. Right. So here, as you can see, we have got the all. Column names from here. So as you can see, our data frame has been converted. Our numpy array has been converted into a data frame. So this is our new data frame, which is totally encoded, right? And some columns are missing from it. This one, which you can join from this present total build tips and size. So you can create another data frame by joining. You can merge these, this one, these three columns, and with this data set, right? As simple. I have told you in previous tutorials that how you can merge this. So thank you so much. This is all about uh, how to use, how you can encode your categorical variables using one hot encoder and performing using pandas functions also, right? So let's meet you on the next tutorial. Thank you so much.